Okay, so hi, my name is Jacoby Rogers. I am 16 um, and I go to the Soulsville Charter School. I am the interviewer of this process. So this is Jasmine Jackson. She is a contributor to, emer to the Emergency Relief Fund. And so we're going to start the interview questions. Um, hi, Jasmine. Hello. So my first question will be, what have you been up to in quarantine? Um, as far as what I've been up to, I've really just been focusing on school and college, uh, really, and really just trying to get that together and keep my grades up. Um, so will you say what school did you go to again? Middle college high school. Um, so my next question is, um, so how long have you been writing poems? Um, well, I started writing poems in 2018 when I went to Germantown High. Uh, I just, I started getting back into like listening to music and I just started getting inspired to write down how I feel or how stuff affects me. So, yeah. So how did you come up with the poem that um, you have presented? Um, I really just was seeing stuff on the media and personally how I've been, you know, been trapped at home. You know, mm -hmm. it just, it just kind of came to me from that point. I really I mean, loved your poem. Actually, when I first saw it, I was like, that's going to be a good poem because I kind of feel some of the things that you had put in your poem about being trapped at the home, trapped at home. Because when I, when quarantine first started, I was like, I'm not going to like this. But then I was like, I probably will like it a little more because I didn't have to go nowhere. <laughs> so it was a good poem. Um, so what creative projects do you have going on now? Um, I really just, the only projects I could say I have is for my AP art class with photography. Like, I haven't been writing as much as I used to. Uh, I just haven't been feeling inspired, but that's really all I've been up to, like working with cameras and stuff. Okay. Have you added to this work or done something similar to to it since submitting it? Um, no, I haven't. The last time I did something to the poem was when I revised it before I submitted it. So yeah. Okay, so what do you see for future plans after high school? Do you see yourself wanting to poetry or photography? Um, actually. <laughs> After high school, I plan on going to MTSU for music, um, but I also, like, I'm interested in really everything. Mm -hmm. um, like, if I get into writing, I would love to, like, be able to, I guess, advance myself into songwriting. Um, but, yeah, I really just plan on getting into music after high school. What excited you about the opportunity to make a proposal for, for artwork? Why was it important for you to submit the proposal? Um, wait, can you say that one more time? Um, what excited you about the opportunity to make a proposal of your artwork? Why was it important for you to submit a proposal? Oh, okay. Um, what excited me is, I guess, the fact that I never really submitted my poems before like mm -hmm. ever like I really shared my poems really so I kind of just took this as a opportunity to open myself up more mm -hmm. um so that's pretty much and like get feedback I guess uh, about what I write so yeah I feel like it was important for me to be able to be comfortable with expressing myself more Um, how has your time at MMI worked, sustained, or inspired your creative practice? 
Um, I got a lot of new like ways to write from being in the MMI program. Like it just it also can help me express myself, like I was saying. Mm-hmm. It helped me be able to be comfortable with sharing my work with other people instead of just always just keeping it to myself. Uh so it really helped me be comfortable with myself and be comfortable with what I do. So um what artists are you listening to or following these days or who inspired you? Um well the artists that I've been listening to like recently recently uh, Janae Aiko, I listen to her a lot. Um, but the artist that inspired me is Michael Jackson. He really uh, got me into what I do. Well, that's all the questions I have for you. 